Hello and welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the Masterverse Catra. Bit late to the game on this one. So I'm hoping that the these type of Princess of Power comes out again later this year. Because we all know it's uh, She-Ra's 40th anniversary. And with them doing the cartoon line, I believe that's what they'll be following on through. So again, hopefully we'll get these for the Origins as well. But with the card art on this box, it has just got Catra there in that little pose. Um, also available type of stuff in the line as well. I'm not really going to go down the route for the Masterverse type of stuff. I just really liked this one, stood out. And it goes with, obviously... The Fright Zone team behind until the um, Origins hopefully will be released of this. So let's crack this open, get a bit of a closer look. As we all know, the Masterverse does stand a little bit taller than the actual Origins. But I picked this up because of really just the detail in it and the articulation for it. So, the actual, bring it in close, so the detail and uh, what really just gets me is that this little mask it is on two little peg pins which slot into the side of her head. Now if you didn't want that mask on to reveal all her eyes You've got these big gaping holes where I'm not really impressed with at all. She comes with the like a latex type of flexi hair which is just pegged and glued in the top of her head. The bodice, she's got that little tilt option just at the chest. But then articulation wise for the arms She's got the tilt on the actual, well, the ball joint on the shoulder, twist at the bicep, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees as well, so they can come straight back up. She's got the, the peg joint at the wrist, which does twist and flip up and down. Uh, she has got a thigh twist as well. And she's got ball joints on the feet and the head. I don't know if I just mentioned it does bobble up and down. I'm not too sure if these heads pop off like the Origins. It is on like a ball. Oh, yeah. So it's on like a little ball joint there. And then the cape, while I've got that off, it is attached to a little collar. And it is just the thin textile flowy type of cape. But it is stitched on. So it is quite secure on there as well. And to put the face guard back on. Just got to line those pegs up. And pop them in. So yeah just a little bit gutted that it doesn't just slot on. You know like the she Origins type of. Um, the mask that she's got it just slots on on a little clip but that would have been a hell of a lot better rather than having them, them big gaping holes there now she does come with another set of ha hands so the hands that she comes in the pack with are these like claw type of hands but she does come with gripper ones as well so let's just pop these off and pop them in now she comes with this little crystal type of staff with the little gem looks like the the sims type of little thing above her head <laughs> so that just goes in the little gripper hand and then she comes with this shield. 
Now it's got a little clear type of gemstone in the middle there, but it's got the little catra or panther cat type of face on the front and on the back it's just got where you can slide the shield in now I think you've got to take the hand off to do that probably you probably didn't have to I suppose but so I did have to take the other claw hand off to get the gripper hand in and it was quite fiddly to try and squeeze I haven't got that in fully still so I've got the little thumb over it but I have had to squeeze that arm in to get that more secure but I'll just give it a little 360 uh, with the actual bodice or little skirt dress that she's got going on as well it's the actual colours that really do pop I'm liking the actual boots where it's more of a fluorescent vibrance as well which ma matches the actual gauntlets of it but as she's coming round again you'll see that there is that horde type of symbol going on as well on the chest plate of it I mean yeah it's, it's an absolute standout I'm just got my whole fingers crossed that uh, all of these Princess of Power line comes out uh, around the Oct I think it's October, October, November when it comes to the 40th um, anniversary for the Origins line. Let them get the cartoon basic collection out of the way because I think they will release just like a like a standalone type of pack release the main type of figures for that and then they will go into the she type of stuff as well I'm hoping that they're going to bring out the actual uh, Crystal Palace for she -Ra. so but let me know your thoughts let me know your comments not just alone on this figure what do you expect for the Princess of Power line do you hope that they come out like the she -Ra? I'll just bring she in with the actual plastic hair or would you want the full reminiscence of it and go down the route of the, the, the plug type of Barbie hair that we've seen back in the 80s? So yeah, drop us your thoughts, drop us your comments and while you're there doing the usual with the like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. Well, thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next. Take care.